Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and I have Trey and Norm. For today's video, guys, we are at none other than, is it in there? I use a GoPro, I don't have big cameras like all these other guys. Yeah, it's right there. Bass Pro Shops, where it all started. Where I came in here, actually you guys brought me here. You brought me here, like I can't say I did anything. <laughs> Norm was like, you wanna go do this? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I really do. So we've came back. We started this thing off with the worst lure challenge. Mm -hmm. First video on your channel. First video on yeah. the channel. Yeah. So this feels it's kind of like AO said when he was in the Bass Pro and he said this feels nostalgic. Today we're going in. Actually, I'm not going in. I don't know what I'm going to do. Might have to go do a little number two. Who knows? <laughs> Call of Duty. I don't even play video games. But these guys are going to take my car. And uh, it has a limit. I will say that. It has a <laughs> limit. It has a limit. So I was just going to let y'all know before you go in, my card has a limit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving them my card and they are going in to pick out the best, not the worst, because last time homeboy right here had me like a tarantula. And yeah, the banana spider. Banana spider. <laughs> it was bananas for sure. As a matter of fact, bananas are bad luck for fishing. Definitely picked out a good one for a worst little challenge. Today, I'm hoping for something a little better. Don't come out here with no beetle spins, rooster tails, flukes. I want something nice. We got you. But I have a limit on my card. What do you want us to keep it under? I don't know, about $70. I say the budget should be... How many lures you want, first you, of all? All right, so I think that it would be safe to say, what, five lures? I think yeah. so. That's a good amount. I mean, five lures. If you can't catch one on five lures, then quit filming, bro. You know what I mean? Just stop. So I'm thinking go in and pick out the best five. I'm not even going to give you a limit. I will say, I would say, like, you know, less than 150 I think that's respectable. Everybody on my channel should be like, oh, <laughs> big money. <laughs> Got a few overtime hours last week, I see. Either way, guys, here it is. Bam! That's a double cash because you get 1% when you spend and another percent when you pay it off. And for people like me, it's good because it gives you an incentive to pay that bad girl off. And I need that, you know? So I hand this to you too. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that was a bad idea. Trey just snatched it and I just feel like it's going to be swipe, swipe, swipe. <laughs> swipe or no swiping. You know what I mean? Dang. We'll see you, dude. See you, man. I'm going to nice you up. I promise. One thing I do want to show the people, and I'll have to ask Trey if it's okay, but I mean, like, this is Trey's truck, right? Nice little tundra. I feel like we could do a challenge out of Trey's door. I mean, my goodness, bro. We got some elastic net heads. We got some, oh man, that's a money jerk bait. Is that a... Is that a Vision 110? That's definitely not a 110, but dang. I mean, we got the darn batteries, bro. We got the power all day long. Got a nice little frog, Bass Pro Shops. They might come out with one of those. I hope they don't, though. I mean, he's got baits in here for days. Good Lord, Trey. Might wanna just come back out of your truck. Save homeboy some money. Dude, this is gonna be easy. Oh like, yeah, this real. is this is cake. I'm gonna do the first three. You get the first three, and then I get the next two. I'm down. I'm down. He said five lures. Keep it under 150 bucks. Uh huh. That's the nicest man up. Lure number one's got to be a jackhammer, right? It's exactly where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> and like one lane is gonna have two with like the best baits ever. Literally. Which I don't know if he's he's had to fish with some of these before. I think we're right here. That's not it. One aisle over. We can check these out too. They got jerk baits. Ooh, a little spook. A little popper. Oh my goodness, Norm, look at that. Yeah, that's crazy. Bro, $9.99 wake bait? We might have to get one of those today. Let's go with the guarantee what we know is gonna work because we're, we're trying to get the best for our boy Smalls. And this is like the Florida special and I think he's gonna take it back up to Georgia and give it a try. All right, so guys, the best chatterbait of all time, which can be fishing grass, can be fishing rocks, the jackhammer, it's crazy. It's expensive, but for a good reason. Let me see. All right, we're gonna go with the Brett Height Delight, yeah. the green and the chartreuse. But what's really cool about these is they have like a tungsten head, so super sensitive, a silicone tied skirt, a bait keeper on the back, and a gamagatsu hook, I'm pretty sure. Very sharp, and the vibration and where the head placement is, is perfect. So that's gonna be lure number one. I'm gonna nice them up. This is like the best chatterbait ever, and it catches giants, so that's number one. Number two. Should we get the boys some trailers? We gotta get the boys some trailers. We will, but we might get him a, he loves fishing jigs, so we might do a Ooh, trailer that can work on yeah, both, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. All right, come check this out. Next up, completely different lure style, but also when you think of the best, 
Typically, you have to spend a little bit more money. We are at the most expensive lure inside of Bass Pro Shops, 25 bucks. You gotta go with the Mega Bass ooh. jerk bait. And what we'll do, just to keep it nice ooh, and simple ooh. for him, for it's the color. Cloudy outside, that white one would be crazy. He's fishing tomorrow with it though, I think. Oh. So that's, we can't, we have to think, what are they gonna eat in the river where he's at? Dude, I yeah. think we go. Bro, look at I've that. I've never seen, look that's at like that. a morning dawn. Northern secret? Bro, that's crazy. Crazy. Okay, so here's the question. You know why it always matches the hatch? And no matter if it's dirty or clean water, it's good. But do we try to give them a different color? What do you think? I like that Northern Secret, and believe it or not, that's actually a super rare color. It's the last one on the shelf. I think we do it. Northern Secret? Yeah, I'm jealous of that one. All right, yeah, let's do that for them. 25 bucks on two lures. They're the most too expensive in the store, but gosh, are they good. And this time of year, a jerk bait and a chatter bait are gonna be awesome. Trey, I'm gonna flip it around to you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. Show them what's up next. You think a rattle trap? I mean, we no. love throwing a rattle trap. It's oh, tough. he's throwing it in Georgia, right? Yeah, we need to get him a jig, bro. There's so many crawls he, in that all right, river. All right, all right. He needs a jig and he needs a square bill. What you think about that? I think that's awesome. I think it's awesome. Jig, square bill, and trailers for chatterbait and jig. I think we need a soft plastic and, and maybe need to eliminate, I mean, bro, like a lizard. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah, lizards yeah, yeah, are yeah. awesome this time of year. Yeah, I think we yeah, need to yeah. do a you're lizard. Right, you're right. Let's go find a jig. Guys, I was also trying to razor my face this morning. Homeboy had to get a quick shave before he went in. Nobody trying to go in looking like this. And I cut my finger, so I got a Paw Patrol Band-Aid at Walmart. Black and blue is the move up yeah, there. I remember that from move, fishing with them. Sure. Little half ounce football jig. Go count some rocks. Oh yeah, baby. All right, dude, so football I, jig is number three. Yeah, dude, I really think we need to get him a square bill. Like, we can, I know he loves a square bill. I, I really think we need to get him a square bill. A square bill is elite for oh, river fishing. Bro, like, I got a genius bouncing, idea. Bouncing some timber, bouncing some rocks. Yeah. Oh, All right, yeah, square let's bill go get him one. I got a genius idea for the trailer yeah. that can be used as a Texas rig. A Chatterbait trailer, and you know what I'm talking about. One guess, I know you're gonna say it. Speed crawl. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly, we're dialed. <laughs> uh, all right, crankbait. That's a tough one, bro. Oh, no, it's not, I already see it, bro. Red Lucky Craft square bill. Oh yeah. Springtime. Yep, reaction. Perfect. Look, look, look dirty water. Bro, oh, yeah. get out of here. Hey, you think we need to get the 2.5 or the 1.5? I think 1.5, bro, it's a bite getter. That's what I think too. Oh yeah, baby. And then, I think all we need now is a speed crawl, right? Yep, trailers. All right, now we're getting trailers. And if you guys have never fished with a speed crawl, it was like the second fishing lure I ever fished with. And when I figured it out, I never threw anything else besides it for like a year. So we got black and blue super speed crawls. June bug. I think we need to go ultra vibe, which is like a little bit smaller. June bug would be perfect. Black and blue, that would match our chatter bait. That would match the jig. Super speeds. We don't want the super, the super speed crawl has the giant pinchers. I think you need ultra vibe. Yeah, it's ultra like vibe is the one. This one, guys, has the same trailer as a speed worm. The little tails on the end, there's two of them on the craw, and they're perfect bite size for bedding fish, or just cast it up at the bank, or a jig trailer, or a chatterbait trailer. Green and pumpkin. they're only five bucks, but they're one of the best. June bug or green pumpkin green and purple? June bug, because I think it matches the jig. It also kind of matches the chatterbait. And he's black and blue, he says works the best. June where bug he lives. Yeah. Well, we got some alls, his five baits. We're gonna go check out. And I think we dude, I think we did a really good job. And we also kept the budget pretty low. And these are lures that I could see him tying on in a tournament too. Like oh, we yeah, got 100%. some of the best. Like this none is, of this is a waste. This is literally exactly what I would have on the deck of my bass boat. If yeah. I was going to put like say a hundred dollar entry fee, I got this tied on. Yep, especially in the south. Like that is gosh, she's gonna be so hype. I bet he's out there stressing right now. <sighs> I don't know how this is gonna go. My guess for what these guys are getting is gonna be. First off, they know I like a jig. So I think they're gonna get a black and blue jig. I could definitely see them buying some kind of glide bait. And then since we're doing a best lure challenge, I'm thinking like maybe a chatter bait and some Senkos. So those are my guesses. Senkos, chatter bait, jig, glide bait. For some reason, I'm just thinking that Trey's gonna snag a top water. And my guess for that would be a buzz bait. So who knows? Oh, uh, snap. Should we get him some candy? Smalls does like candy, I feel like. Hmm. I feel like gummy worms going right. Get him some gummy worms. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, Smalls. <laughs> it gets approved. That sounds like a verification <laughs> check to me. All right, we got the baits. Oh yeah. Walking back. Oh, there he is. There's the man. <laughs> we got some goodies for Mr. Smalls. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. 
I would be so happy if this is what I was receiving if, for any type of dude, fishing. If I got the contents <laughs> of this bag in a fishing challenge, my confidence is going to be in the stars. And oh my oh, god, wow. Wow, that was scary. Try this some good stuff. The best. No. The best. Stuff. Okay, stuff. okay. Not only did we get good stuff, we got the best stuff Bass Pro Shops has to offer. We're talking like we really did over four stars. Yeah, and only spent seventy dollars. You're lying. I swear. Yeah, like 67 bucks, I think. My wife. She gonna love you, dude. She gonna be like, you making money, honey. I love you. I'm gonna be like, girl, stop. There's one that has to come out last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. That has to come out last right, is making yeah, me nervous. That first, that first. We'll see if I got close. That first? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the most expensive one. So I chose you two in the beginning. And well, me and Trey worked as a team the whole time, basically. But I chose you. This is the first one. You ready? I'm ready. Are you sure you're ready? I don't know. For some reason, I don't know. Well, bam. Oh, yeah. Division 110. I was just talking about that. Really? Yeah, because Trey's got one in his store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best jerk baits ever made. For sure, dude. These are like $20. 20, 20 25 <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're a little expensive. Yeah. But dude, they're so good. Okay, we have a Vision 110. I mean, this shouldn't be hard to catch a fish on. No. no. Pond, river, stream. They go by. Toilet. You're catching something. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. They got a thin wire hook though, so but they're specifically designed to be played correctly with drag. So they'll bend out if you horse them, but they're the sharpest hooks if you play them correctly, if that okay. makes sense. So some people hit them, they're like, the hooks bend out really easy, but that's because they're working do, too fast. Have a little drag. Have, have a little play drag. Play with them a little bit. Throw the perfect combo, and you go catch them. Next <laughs> up. <laughs> you go All right, next, we got one of my favorite pre-spawn muddy water conditions baits. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be a chatter wagon. <laughs> oh! oh. Lucky Crab. Silent square built Dude. in red. Takahiro Amori on it too? <laughs> All right, so a little fun fact. Uh -huh. The first Bassmaster event I ever went to was held on West Point Lake. Uh, the one that I went to, anyway. West Point Lake Bassmaster event. You ever heard of a Rico popper? Yeah, it's only the best popper the ever best created. The best popper ever created. It got I me one like, what, two months ago, right? Is that a Rico or no? It's been a lot longer than that. It was in September. Okay, maybe yeah. like almost a year ago he got me one. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot going on this last year. So the, I had just found out about it. And whenever I'm walking down the bank looking at all these pros' boats, everybody had on Rico. And so I got up to talk to Hero Mori, this guy right here. And I was like, hey, man, is there any way I can buy a Rico from you? And it just threw him off. He was like, ah. Uh, <laughs> I can't sell you a Rico. And I was like, dude, can I please buy one? He's like, I'll give you a Lucky Craft. So he ended up giving me a G Splash Lucky Craft Dang. for free that I still have to this day. That, but I like it, dude. Talking here on Mori version? Oh. He actually won the Bassmaster Classic on one of my home lakes, Lake Wiley. Really? Yep. Was that whenever he caught the last? Yep. Week? Yeah, like the last the five last minutes. Three minutes. Boom, boom, boom. I knew that was fish day. I knew it. <laughs> I just knew it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding. I knew it. I just knew it. That was what got me into fishing, dude. That's the most legendary tournament for sure of all time. I fished that bank hundreds of times, and it's the never, same bank. Yeah, it's never been that good ever again. <laughs> right. that's, that's about my luck. Yeah. But maybe not with these two baits. This already feels better than the worst lure, because the worst lure, I mean, well, smalls it only gets better. So, you ready to see number three? Should I go for it? Yeah, yeah. All right, this is the next one I picked out for you. You're also gonna love this. I know it. Okay. You good? Oh, should we go with? Mm, should we go with this or with this? Uh, no, throw this. them off. Throw them off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So this one, me and Trey picked together. It's an <laughs> okay. awesome bed fishing bait. Okay. It's an awesome trailer. It's awesome fished by itself. It's awesome in every category. One of the best lures of all time, and I've seen it on your boat before. I feel because like you gave me some. I feel like you have a speed crawl. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh. We're all on the same wavelength. Dude, I would 100% agree with this right here being one of yep. the top, most versatile baits of, of all time. It's yes. golden. It's great. And you got the June bug. You said black and blue works best on yeah, the river. Yeah, for sure, dude. And so we got black and blue. June bug in March. Huh? <laughs> I like it. Okay, so it's looking real good. 
It's looking real, real good. It's about to look even better. Okay. Um, there's some some boulders and rocks and brush and all that types of varieties on the river, correct? For sure, dude. Some people say I need an over-the-shoulder boulder holder. A bra. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> he knows me so well. And got the football head. You know, oh, only like, the best. Because you know we play that football. We, we play a little football. Yeah. Right? <laughs> We're athletic. I mean, hey. Yeah, come on. Speaking of football. Black and blue? This guy right here, can I tell him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm talking about, didn't know this for, what, three or four times filming. This man right here had a full ride scholarship. Well, I went to FSU's camp to kick, yes. But you would have gotten it had you not have Probably, your... it was Yeah, it was my freshman year. This man yeah. right here can just walk up and nail a 60-yard field goal. Which yeah. blows my mind. I mean, like, no, like, no offense yeah. at all. I'm not meaning that in a bad way. I just wouldn't have thought, like... If I would have seen you D1 kicking and make it to the pro, I'd be like, what the heck? <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, yeah, best kicker in Florida for what? The year of 20, 2015, 2016. How old are y'all? 21. 25. I just turned 30. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to be 30. Yeah! What an old <laughs> fart. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We got four. I'm right. thinking we have one more, right? Yeah. yeah. And I think no, actually, actually, we got two more. We got two more. Okay. Yeah, we got okay. two more. Willow. I might hit him with Willow the next crazy. one. Hit him with it. All right. Hit me with you. This was the second shot. one I chose out, or the first one I chose out. Also, the second most expensive. Second most expensive. Yep. So we got to be at twenty dollars. Mm, close. It's fifteen bucks. You got a Wofford bumper? Nope. Jackhammer. Oh, baby. dude. <laughs> and our thought can... process was, bro. For buy sure. itself, pair it up and pair it up for sure so with five lures you get a ton of different techniques and you could throw i mean green and yellow is the bee height the light color be height the light. and green and a little bit of like shad silver in there it's an awesome color and normally they're sold out so you got lucky this is a really good one i definitely think that these are i mean honestly if i would have went in and picked out what i thought to be the best baits it would look the exact same yeah it would look the exact same it's kind of crazy how our minds all but the life on it we unfortunately do not have the best bait we picked out right here in this collection. Are you ready to see it? Dum dum dum. Dum. Sure. Go go go! Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> my! We were so far on our budget. We're like, okay, we gotta get him some candy. You know what I mean? You tell some guys you're trying to lose the excess <laughs> body fat. And they come out with the fire. I forgot he said <laughs> Bro, they want to die. Trust me, it don't matter. <laughs> like, I mean, diet or not, like who cares? Yeah. If that's what you got, as long as we're all eating them together, it don't look as bad yeah. on me. And you can fish with them if you wanted to. So that's it's a dual purpose present. It could be lunch or a fishing lure. It's up to you. Trey, won't you open those bad girls up? I tried and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Give it all you got. <laughs> Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Oh, Don't tell me. I'll show you. Oh. So, as a big person, you always know. Mm -hmm. Just one little. Dan, you can. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Or right, what's your favorite flavor? Most of the time, there's pink and blues, and I'm not seeing pink and blues in here. I want see... that. I want that pink and yellow you want that pink and yellow bro yep looking like a caterpillar or is that a catawba worm that's a catawba worm well there you go guys baits are picked out from yours truly fisherman norm yeah Treyway. <laughs> can i go ahead and tell people your youtube or no yeah they won't be able to find it though until i upload but yeah let's do it i mean what is it <laughs> it's Treyway. it's Treyway, as in it's T-R-E-Y-W-A-Y. -E fishing or no fishing? Nope, no fishing. No fishing, but we fishing, bro. We fishing? We, no, small, we don't go fishing around here, because. We go catch it, you know what I'm saying? I feel you, I feel you. Sweet. Well, guys, I appreciate it. I mean, these baits, 
are going to smash them. I think so, bro. I can't wait to see what you catch on these. I think you're gonna catch you some giants, for real. I think so. And if you don't lose them, you can keep them for like tournaments and stuff because that's sure. like actually top of the line. I would stuff. use every one of those in a tournament. That's yeah. like literally exactly what I said. I said yeah. if I was putting a hundred dollars on an entry fee, I'd have these baits tied on. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'll even use those in a tournament <laughs> for what, like midday morale? Probably after the keeper bite. First keeper, grab one. Second keeper, yeah. grab two. Five keepers. Normally, I <laughs> would never eat before I call a limit. Well, hey, I like it. Yeah. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You the man. Appreciate you. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, wait, wait. Good to see you. Good to see you. I Good to forgot. see you. Wait. Here you oh, go. as <laughs> if I was going to let you forget. Well, here's your credit debit card with unlimited, no budget, but under 150 And we did half that, so. I like it. Yeah. I like some, I mean, you got, your friends have got to keep your budget in mind. And so I appreciate it. Did you hear one? I, th I feel like we niced you up. I feel like we got you the best baits possible for the cheapest amount of money. Will you now tell everybody what they need to do? Subscribe! Catch you guys on the water! Hey, we've made it. We are at the river and it is up. It's up about halfway. So generally speaking, whenever they're generating out here, the water's up about four more foot than where it's at right now. So I'm liking what we're seeing. We got a bunch of dirty water. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to get a bite. I do believe these are our baits. Huge shout out Norman Trey for picking out some straight bangers. I mean, between this, I mean, really all of them, the only bait right here that I don't throw a ton would be this Vision 110. I know it's the best jerk bait on the market, so we're definitely gonna tie it on today and throw it around, but I believe what I'm gonna start with this black and blue jig, and we're gonna start with this crankbait. Lucky Craft, hopefully we'll get a lucky bite. I would love to catch like a four or five pound shoal bass today. Do a little unboxing. This is the first time that I've ever unboxed a Lucky Craft crankbait. I always wanted one as a kid, but they were always like 20 bucks. And you know, we've always been a little bit budgetly challenged. So I never did buy one, but today's the day guys. We're gonna throw this thing around. We also have the tour grade football jig by Strike King. Now we have a half ounce jig and that's perfect because the water's up. We wanna go ahead and get that jig on the bottom. One thing we're gonna do guys, I don't have my scissors. I wish that I did. I'm gonna trim this skirt material, make it a little bit more like a finesse jig. I just have a little bit more confidence in a smaller jig. So Norman Trey hooked us up with some speed crawls. That's gonna go perfect on the back of this black and blue jig. And that looks perfect. I am so excited about these baits. I feel so much better having a black and blue jig than a green spider and a giant saltwater rattle trap and a, gosh, what else did they have me that day? They had me some terrible baits when we first started this channel. So I feel like we've come a long way. We've come far enough to have some good baits. And I couldn't be happier with what they picked out. Time to tie on our nice little red square bill. These Lucky Craft come with such awesome hooks. I mean, they just feel like more quality hooks than you're gonna find on a, a cheaper bait, but they should be. These are pretty expensive. Ooh, baby. Huh? I'm telling you guys, they come with some good hooks. Yikes. I think I'm gonna start off throwing the old Lucky Craft crankbait around. See if we can't go ahead and get a reaction bite out of these fish that should be feeding. The river has not been up for very long. Normally, whenever the river starts to rise, so do the bites. Oh yeah, before I start fishing, be sure and please like, share, subscribe. Please. All right, first cast, let's go. Oh, this feels like money. Oh, Chris, I feel good about it, dude. I feel real good about it. This thing has got some movement on it too. I feel like this crankbait is shaking and wobbling. Oh my gosh. We haven't even dropped the troll motor and I think I've got a good one on. Oh dude, that is a good one. Good fish, good fish. <laughs> Baby, let's go. See, that's what happens whenever you do a best lure challenge versus the worst lure challenge. I mean, guys, that was like, what, third or fourth cast? That fish was up there super, super shallow. Guys, I haven't even dropped the trolling motor yet. Sweet! Nice little two pounder to start the day off on the Lucky Craft crankbait. Come on. Now check this out, guys. Look at that fish's lip. 
She's either been caught a few times or she's feeding on some stuff coming straight out of Atlanta's sewage pipes. Awesome fish. We're going to throw her in the box, see what we can't have with our best five fish for the day. Awesome start though, man. I think it's going to be a good day. Look guys, everybody makes mistakes. I think I'm just getting so excited because I caught one so quick. This water right now is super dirty, guys. I'm talking poop soup. Oh, I got a fish on. As I start talking, let's go, baby. They are chomping, guys. I mean chomping. So this one here's a spotted bass. Let's go. They're eating the crankbait up. These fish are getting ready to spawn and they're making their way up to this dam. And uh, I'm just here to, you know, intercept them. Call me a wide receiver. The water's super dirty, guys. Straight chocolate milk. Obviously, that's helping us, though. Obviously, the fish can't really see our bait all that good to be able to tell that it has, you know, three giant hooks on it. So, I'm going to make a few more casts with this crankbait. I'm liking it. Gotta love it, man. Out here fishing my favorite spot in the world. And it's all about to change before long. This dam that's right behind us, it's gonna be blown up in the next year or two. So it's all gonna be different. I'm trying to get out here and soak up as much as I can. That's why I'm out here just about every time we fish. It's not because I don't have anywhere else to fish. It's just that this place is about to change. And it's been like this for the last hundred years. So I'm trying to get every last day that I can coming out here and catching these shoal bass. Haven't caught a show bass yet, so hopefully it won't change as much as I think that it will, but I feel like it's going to be a lot different whenever they take this dam out. But who knows? I'm optimistic. Maybe the fish will be even better. I just highly doubt it. So we've had some fun with a crankbait. I'm going to put the old girl up for a minute. And it's time to break out. My favorite, especially for the time of year, the black and blue jig. So guys, we've thrown the black and blue jig a few times. Haven't got a bite right away, but I'm still feeling pretty good about it though. I mean, we made three casts with the uh, crankbait and caught one instantly. So, I mean, the water being so dirty, it's kind of to be expected with this. It's not really a moving bait. So we're going to spend a little bit more time with the black and blue jig. I mean, honestly, if I, I feel like if we're going to catch a true giant, it's going to be on this. But hey, obviously it could be on any of these baits that we've got. I just have more confidence in this than anything. Oh, that jig is just crawling along the bottom on those rocks. And it's exactly what you want till you feel the dope. And I mean, that dope feeling, if you ain't ever felt it, I might go buy a jig. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll feel dope. You'll be like, oh, golly. <laughs> the current is just killing me right now. And I'm not complaining. I mean, hey, I'm out here fishing. It's better than a great day at work. It's by far. We have yet to get a bite on the jig, and I want to catch one on the jig so bad. My next plan is to tie on the white chatterbait. We're going to throw it around, see if we can't catch one on it. I'm going to catch one on that jig before the day's over. I mean, if I got to stay here all night, cuddle up with cameraman Chris. It's worth a shot. Huh? So this is also a half ounce, which is perfect. That river is running today. By running, I mean flowing. I don't even like to say the word running. <laughs> no siree. Maybe a speed walk, but we ain't doing no running. So guys, whenever you buy a jackhammer, be sure you take that off. That's just protecting that hook. I fished with my buddy one time and he left it on all day. Couldn't figure out why he kept losing his fish. And then he realized there was a, it was clear. It wasn't red like that one. So he didn't have, you know, it was a little more understandable, but be sure you take that off. This, in my opinion, is the best chatterbait on the market, the jackhammer. I mean, you get what you pay for, and you're definitely paying for these. These things are like $20. Making our way down, guys. Going to flip this jig around every tree that we can and hopefully catch a big one. Like that tree right there? Oh. Terrible flip, but... Hopefully there's a fish there. Now guys, whenever you're working this jig, 
you're mimicking a crawfish. So you want to keep contact with the bottom. And a crawfish most of the time doesn't swim really fast unless it's trying to get away from something. So tight little bumps along the bottom is going to be your best bet. And then if you get a bite and he drops it, work it fast for like three or four little reel turns and then kill it, let it hit the bottom. Most of the time you can get a fish to come back and hit it. I mean, it's kind of like me on a diet. You know, you bite a cheeseburger and you say, you know what, I'm better than this. And then you try to take it away from me and I'm coming back to get it. It's just how it is. All right, so we've went a while without a bite, guys. I put back on my red crankbait and we're coming over here to the rocks. They should be something on the rocks. I mean, I know that I've said there should be one here and there should be one there, but there really should be one right here. I mean, first cast, let's just see. Dude, it could happen right here. It really should happen right here. I could see us catching a big one right here. I mean, right there on that cast. Boom, he ought to bite it. Boom. Come on. That's a money cast right there. All right, let's flip all this wood. Let's see if we can't catch us a giant. Uh-oh. Got one. Get in the boat. Okay, guys. Well, we have went a while without a bite. Look at the tummy on that girl. Not a big fish, but definitely got a good little girthy tummy on her. She's been chopping. Definitely been doing some eating on the black and blue jig. Shout out Norman Trey. So that's fish number three on the day. Probably went about an hour without a bite. Went up there to the spillway for the first little part. Caught two back to back. I mean, it was quick. And we had done a lot of fishing until we got this bite. So glad to have her though. It wasn't a bad little sign. So guys, we're not on the main river anymore. We're in like a little tail race going up to a powerhouse. Powerhouse used to power a mill that's right here in our hometown. We got a ton of little mills and all these mills have little tail races. And most of the time around this time of year when the fish are going to spawn, you can find a bunch of big largemouth and spotted bass like what we just caught making their way up the tail race. The water's definitely slack in here. It's nowhere near like on the main river. And so I feel like that's why they like to get in here and kind of cruise around a little bit. But that felt good. After you go for a while without a bite, to get one just feels nice. I can't get over how dirty this water is though, man. I mean, this is like Nesquik for sure. You gotta be careful making your way up this little tail race though. There's a ton of stumps and trees that you can't see. And you can get thrown out of the boat quite easily. We can go catch one in there. I don't know if it'll be a big one. I've, I've seen a three pounder come out of there though. It's looking mighty fishy up in there, my friend. So we've got a nice little creek that runs into this tail race. A lot of rushing water coming in, so it's looking kind of fishy. Dude, I think I need to try the jerk bait. I don't think it's a bad idea. I mean, we've never caught one on a jerk bait. I, I take that back. I may have caught like one or two fish on a jerk bait my whole life. I hate to even take this out of the pack though, guys. This thing is expensive. It might be the most expensive jerk bait on the market, but I know that it works. You're just gonna let me go up in a limb like that? Bro. Normally Chris is like, hey buddy, you're about to take your ear off. Golly, I can see why these things cost so much money though. You give it one little jerk and it stays just as still as it could possibly stay in the same spot. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Talk about action. What's up, man? How's it going? Everybody's so friendly in my hometown. I love it. Now, just because they're friendly don't mean they don't like to throw their trash out. That's the cast. Got it a little deeper. Deeper up in that creek, baby. Is that a fish? That's a fish! Let's go, baby! First jerkbait fish of the day! Come on! Get in the boat, baby girl! Let's go! Wow, look at the eyes on that thing. I mean, she's got hooks all up in her. All three hooks in her. This fish was going nowhere. I mean, those hooks in there like swimwear. Nice little birthmark on her mouth too. That's kind of cool. Those eyes were red, yeah. It's almost like they've kind of dimmed out a little bit, but those eyes are pretty. Well, first jerkbait fish. I would definitely say it's more fun to do a best lure challenge than a worst lure challenge. So, one more in the box. 
Well, that's four. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, that feels like a better fish. Whoo, baby. Hopping on in the boat. Goodness gracious. Dude, that's a big one for this little creek. They are chomping. She's got the little black marks on her gills, too. And look at those eyes, man. Everything in here is just gorgeous. I mean, she's got a little hook coming out of her mouth. But, hey, don't worry about that. She'll be fine. Let's go, man. Dude, that's a chunk. She is healthy. I mean, she's been doing like me and Cameron and Chris. <laughs> Spawning. <laughs> How about that? On the jig. So that one was right along this little edge. It's kind of like a drop-off right there that feeds up into that creek. And that fish was just awaiting. Get her in the box. <laughs> Let's catch another one. Well, I am putting on this chatterbait because it's the only thing that we haven't caught a fish on. But this creek has been really good to us. So if we're going to catch one somewhere, this creek could very well be the place. Oh, dude, I just got crushed right here. I mean, she crushed it. Let's see if we can get her to bite again. She was literally right here. Come on, girl. No. Let's see if she'll eat a jig. There's a fish literally right under us right now. Right there. No. I mean, she almost took my rod out of my hand. Uh-oh. There's one right there, too. There he is. He let it go. It's probably a little fish. But there's another one right there. Come on, little squealers. All right, last cast. Last cast, and then we're going to make our way up to the powerhouse. I got bit right there twice, so I know that he's there. And I can kind of see what's going on now. So it's like all this current over years and years and years has just dug a hole. And there's a really deep hole right here on this right side of the creek. And uh, I mean, it's probably like four or five foot right there, and everything else is like two foot. So those big fish are going to be in that hole more times than not. And they probably come out and go up in the mouth of that creek to feed. Oh, I thought I had one on. Give me another one. I'm feeling rocks this whole way out, which is exactly what you want. Really hard bottom, sand all around it. Screaming fish, come live here. We'll probably hit that creek again on the way out. Look at that turtle. That's a big one. Oh, that's weird, dude. It was like that turtle was giving another turtle a piggyback ride. So we've made it guys. This is the powerhouse I was telling you about. This is the powerhouse that powered all of this meal right here. These are old cotton mills guys. They were in use probably 30, 40 years ago. These mills are the whole reason that these dams exist on our river, these low head dams. And uh, these powerhouses used to generate power for the mills, but right now they just proved to be awesome fishing spots. There's a lot of deep holes around the powerhouse from turbines, you know, generating over time. Seems to have a lot of big fish around them, so hopefully we can catch one of them big girls in there today. It's kind of crazy, like this has got a, I don't know, it's kind of spooky slash historic. I think it'd be awesome to like go and explore through the mill, but that would be trespassing, so we can't do that. But I definitely think it'd be cool. Kind of go see what all that thing looks like. My dad and my granddad and, you know, everybody around here has somebody in their family that worked in these old mills. So they're super historic. I mean, all the guys that I work with, everybody has, you know, stories from back in the day working in the mill. Kind of feel like I missed out on some stuff not being able to work in there. But I also feel like I didn't because everybody talks like it was terrible. Obviously, a very popular job was dolphin cloth. People used to dolph cloth all day. I mean, they'd go home with dolph all over them. You want to see me skip under that there pole right there? Okay. Okay, we've left the powerhouse and we've came back to this creek, guys. I have got to catch something on this chatterbait. I mean, come on now. It kind of blows my mind because a chatterbait is an awesome bait, especially for this time of year. So to have not caught one on it, it's kind of crazy. But we're about to give it our best shot in this little creek. That was the cast I got bit on earlier, but missed it. 
I mean, who knows? Maybe Norm and Trey just picked out a dud of a chatterbait. I mean, I doubt it. I mean, Trey and Norm are good fishermen. Both of them know what, they, what they're doing, so. I don't think that they picked me out a bad chatterbait. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, you know? Hey, maybe the fish just don't want a chatterbait today. I don't want to accept that either. Fish! Another one in the creek, guys. So we've taken off our jig and put on a red crankbait, and that one got smoked. Let's go right there. Look at them eyes. Look how bright orange those eyes are. Gosh, that's gorgeous. And then it's like they're changing as we speak. As soon as they come out of the water, they're bright orange, and then they turn back to the regular color. Yeah, that's weird, guys. I don't know why the eyes are so red this time of year. If you know, let me know in the comments, because I have no idea. They are loving the Lucky Craft crawfish pattern crankbait. I will say that. Awesome, dude. Well, so far we have yet to catch a giant. They are loaded in this creek right now. Awesome little fish. Let's get her in the box. All right, let's get out of here and get up to them shoals. Fish on, baby. Feels like a pretty good one, too. Come on, baby, be a big one. Be a big one. Be a big one. Oh, she's tugging. Oh, man, she's tugging. Oh, my gosh. What do we have? Oh, dude, it's a giant strike. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Can we both flip it? Oh, we've got her mouth pinned shut. Got one hook in the top and one hook in the bottom. What? Sweet. Yeah, I would say that the red crankbait, by far the best bait that was picked out. They're pretty, but dude, they will cut you up. Like even right here on the McGill plate. And then these things right here will get you too. Stripe are so fun to catch, but man, they'll definitely tear your hands up. How about that? Not a bad day at all, guys. So I met a guy down here earlier that said that he would love for me to bring him some fish. So I'm gonna take him all these fish. Hopefully help feed a family. Ugh, quit splashing on me. He lives right up here, so don't worry. He's literally less than 300 yards from us. So how about that? Awesome video. I enjoyed that one more than I have enjoyed a video in a while. I hate that we didn't catch a big shoal bass. That was like my number one goal to come out here and catch a big shoaly. But we definitely caught a lot of fish and we caught some pretty good ones. That stripe was awesome. The red crankbait, money. Whoever picked out that white chatterbait, uh, well, I mean, I know it's good chatterbait, but didn't really do all that much for us today. So if you don't mind, guys, please hit like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.